know, Edward has decades of experience making clothes for the likes of Mick Jagger, Bianca Jagger, Mark Ronson, Twiggy, Mary Halpin. In, in the tailoring business, before I left school at 15, it's a job that I can enjoy the person, but ultimately change him or her with the clothing that I design and make for them. When a new client comes in, for them it can be a daunting experience. We like to ensure that they make the right choices by trying to understand who they are. We like to understand their lifestyle. We like to know this somewhat of their social sort of necessities. If someone comes in very introverted and they want to wear it to big parties, then you don't necessarily dress them down as much as perhaps you would if they were telling you they wanted a work suit. Experience of having something built around you and seeing the people who make it. We bring in the coat makers who've made the jackets, the trouser makers who've made the trousers that the customer's fitting on. They get to see their work on, they get to appreciate it. The customer also gets to see the person who made it. They know that it's not made in a sweatshop in China. They know that there's someone who actually cares and who's interesting and who's looking to see what it is that we're doing to improve their clothing. And obviously we introduce them into the, the clothing. We explain all the features of the clothing. We can sort of make special pockets that we line with velvet, so the glasses are always polished and clean. Those little personal touches that really makes the suit more precious. We only like to give customers the choices that are interesting to them, and we take all the, the labour out of the process of ordering their clothes. It's really about a human connection and this sort of dynamic relationship between the product, the customer, and us and what we believe in. We treat everyone as an individual, as a person. When I was training on Savile Row, we were making suits for all these super wealthy people. I was just like, so disheartened by the fact that I was doing something that was so wonderful and so beautiful and so elitist, so exclusive. And then one day, a minicab driver from Bristol came in quit smoking, saved up for a year, and bought himself a bespoke suit. And I was like, yeah, this is what it's all about. This isn't just about the captains of industry and the rock stars. It's for everyone. So we've introduced made-to-measure suits, which are a synergy between quality that we believe in, our house look, and modern techniques to reduce the cost, to allow people to come in and have that wedding suit or that special occasion suit. When people wear a suit, Apart from looking at it better, they feel and behave better. It gives them another edge to their important meetings or their first dates or their dinner dates. A suit is a very powerful tool. There's nothing more sexy to most women than a man in a good suit. You don't get people like Rupert Murdoch and, and Bernie Eccleston and, and Maxwell all wanting new suits for their ATMs. The reason they do it is because it sucks them up and they look the bollocks and they know that. <laughs>